Hey guys, this is Tommy here from Elevation Every Weekend. Just doing a real quick update on the Yakima Biker Bar. Um, did a review on this uh, probably about two months ago. And uh, one of the things I mentioned in that video was I was looking for a solution for mounting my fat bikes. And this is my uh, recent uh, Surly Ice Cream Truck uh, 2020 that I got about a month ago. And I did find a solution to get it mounted. I had been using a uh, hitch mounted rack to haul it around recently uh, but I did find uh, this online and it was actually a good solution and I'm going to show you what it is right now. So here you can see it mounted up uh, just came to the trailhead gonna get some gravel grinding in it's gonna be almost 60 degrees uh, today here in uh, uh, Front Range Colorado just a couple days before Christmas so I'm gonna take advantage of the calm and uh, comfortable weather. Uh, so what it is it's called the fork up it's an adapter mount. Um, it is designed uh, to fit into uh, the uh, biker bar. And uh, it is also designed to accommodate uh, fat bike size forks. Uh, this uh, fork is a through axle. It's 15 millimeter diameter by 150 millimeter wide. And there's multiple uh, bikes out there that use that standard. Uh, I think the Bluto uh, full sus uh, front suspension fork, fat bike fork is also uh, that standard and it works great. Uh, I've used it a couple days now. Bike is super secure and uh, I love having it back encompassed inside my uh, truck, uh, inside the uh, bed of the truck instead of hanging off the back. Not only is it more maneuverable, but uh, I like having the bike uh, inside the uh, bed. And it also, a lot of the driving, when you're fat biking and you're getting up into uh, the weather, uh, you'll run into a lot of wet roads and muddy roads and uh, the road spray when you got your bike hanging off the back is is not pleasant to deal with so this uh, pretty much eliminates that so uh, it's been great so far uh, I'll drop some links down below as to uh, where I found it uh, it was about 60 or 70 bucks not the cheapest thing but it is a functional uh, a way to use it with the biker bar which I'm a huge fan of so I'm glad uh, glad I found it and it's uh, working great one thing I will point out uh, in a couple days of uh, using this uh, fork up adapter for the, the surly ice cream truck is I do notice uh, it's a lot bouncier in the back the bike does move around side to side uh, when I'm on these rough dirt roads uh, getting the trailheads and whatnot. So I will probably start uh, bunging, using a bungee to secure the back tire, which I do on long drives, but my other mountain bikes hasn't been an issue. But this one, it seems it's uh, probably the size of the tire. Uh, it's uh, more prone to bounce around a little bit. So uh, it's about the only negative I've found so far, but that's not a big deal. Like I said, I uh, can easily run a bungee uh, on my hooks um, from here to the other side. Uh, over the tire and it does work. I've done it on other bikes in the past. So that's about the only uh, thing I've noticed other than uh, everything I've covered in my uh, prior review at the Biker Bar. It's about the only uh, difference. So it's working great and highly recommend it. Okay guys, it's warming up. Uh, the sun's coming out and burning off these clouds. I'll give you a quick view there of Long's Peak. It's the northernmost 14er in Colorado. Uh, so that's always a great view. I'm going to go ahead and get this bike uh, unloaded and uh, ready to roll. And we're going to get some miles in on dirt roads and enjoy this uh, beautiful weather, December weather. Uh, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know anytime I have a new video going live. And uh, we got plenty more uh, fat bike content coming. i uh, going to do some Tacoma vids uh, coming up here real soon and a bunch of other stuff. So uh, please give the video a like and uh, get subscribed so you can uh, stay on top of uh, everything we're doing. Thanks and have a great day.